Hey guys. <laughs> How many videos have I filmed where my hair's in a bun, I'm wearing this exact same shirt, and I'm drinking coffee out of the same mug? Answer? Probably too many. Response? Do I care? Absolutely not. Um, I thought today's video would be kind of interesting. I'm trying to talk louder than Spencer right now. <laughs> today's video I thought would be kind of fun. Um, I wanted to dig a deep, deep dive into all of my Amazon order history. <laughs> um, I have had an active account, I guess, um, since 20, they're saying 2013. Maybe that's possible. Does anything actually pop up? Things pop up. I've had an active account on Amazon since 2013. So for seven years now, um, I've yet to make a purchase in 2020 on my account but technically seven years I've had an active Amazon account. So I'm starting with the most recent. I'm gonna jump around. I'm not showing you every single order I've gotten because a lot of them are boring. And I'm just gonna be honest. Also, some things might not even exist anymore. Um, I realized that yesterday I'm just trying to reference some orders for re-looking at things. Um, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll pop up pictures. I'll leave links down below if they're available. So the most recent orders I've made were in December like early December because they were all for Christmas presents. <laughs> Two kind of fun things that I got, both books, um, I got HTML for babies as a secret Santa gift for a friend and then I got Batman the Killing Joke, um, it's a like comic book for Spencer for Christmas. So two, I like buy so many books on Amazon, um, which is something I do really want to kind of stop doing as much or like as much basically which I think from here on out I'll probably be good about it but I want to get back in the habit of actually going to bookstores and um, things of that nature. Now the next item I purchased again this was late last year were the 316L Surgical Stainless Tiny Huggy Hoop Earrings it has a long ass title. I talked about this in an Amazon review video and I also thought this would be cool because I get to update you on things I've talked about in videos. So for those gold, I'm going to call them gold huggy hoops because their title is ridiculous. Um, I know I talked about these in a video and I gave them a re-review and I still want to give them a positive review, but I did want to kind of pop in and be like, I've now had them for four or five months. I mean, since I bought the first set, probably almost six to eight, um, but I've had them for a while and I do appreciate them and enjoy them some of them started to kind of like get stuck and have trouble opening but yeah i've noticed that like one or two of them kind of get stuck and are really bad about opening and closing and so trying to like take them in and out of my ear can be kind of hard because you can't really tell if it's closed or if it is you're like ripping it to like get it open so i want to be like technically they worked proceed with caution um moving on like i said i'm just hopping around so like I'm passing things quite frankly um the and again this also is in my most recent amazon review the vantic reusable collapsible straw was a two-pack um this was awesome <laughs> but i haven't had issues i mean i've I use it pretty frequently, but I still give that one a like fantastic review and I have contemplated getting another two pack um, just because like, you know, sometimes I am stupid and forget to wash it or just forgot my straw in general. So I have contemplated getting another two pack and being able to kind of throw one in a bag or something, but um, I 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next is the Artman camera batteries. These again, I reviewed in that video. Um, I wanted to give an update where I don't think this started happening when I filmed this video. Um, this obviously is a like cheaper version of buying Canon batteries for only certain cameras, but it did work for mine. It does work for my Canon 77D, um, and I bought this before going on vacation last year, so I've had these almost a year. They've held up relatively well. I would say after having them for close to five months, maybe four or five months, um, they started doing this thing where they wouldn't charge all the way. Um, the case has like an indicator on it, like two lights that are like, oh, 
maybe the top one's good and the bottom one's still charging or whatever, but they're supposed to have lights. And when you turn, put, plug them in, it just comes with a small like cord. And so I would just use any regular like cube or whatever to charge them and I would put it in and it would charge, but it would only charge like halfway and then it would just like shut off. And I was like, what the heck? And like the cubes worked, the outlet worked, like everything worked and it would do that constantly. So it turned into a game of me like transferring them to outlets every like 45 minutes to an hour just to attempt to get them to fully charge and it would like never ever ever work so i've been dealing with like half to three quarter charging batteries for like three months now three four months now um and it's been quite, quite interesting um and i was literally gonna be like wow these things actually ended up not being worth it i should have just purchased the full battery which i probably still should have but within the past week <laughs> this is a serious update i have a outlet cover that has like multiple outlets and then also like two usb ports built into the outlet plugging it into the usb port in that has worked it has fully charged i'm currently using that battery right now it has fully charged and it like did have a single issue so i'm like is it something that it just doesn't like the cube like i literally can't tell what it is but it seems to be working again so i mean i guess if you like needed more multiple batteries for something coming up i would say it works expect it to be very long lasting i'm not so sure about that but i mean it's 22 dollars. it really saved me on vacation being able to just swap out batteries especially if you're filming videos that can suck the life out of a camera so quickly so if you needed multiple batteries i would say it's worth it don't necessarily expect it to last a lifetime at that point then i'd probably just buy more canon batteries but so far it seems to be working again, so it just seems to be a little finicky, but I mean, if you really want to save the money, it might be worth it. I mean, you get two, you get two for $21, so. All right, nothing else in my 2019 purchases is really that interesting. I'm excited to get farther and farther back because it'll always be less things that I remember and probably dumber things because I was known for buying just stupid shit on Amazon that intrigued me and um, it wasn't meant for like a purpose whereas now I pretty much just buy things for a purpose so they get stupider as we go back and it's a good time. Oh my god, I bought... I'm not even gonna put all these links here because they're just stupid tools you can get like anywhere but I'm just gonna show within like for this one project, I told myself I was going to create this, um, I was going to create a, like, electrical unit, what's that, like a circuit, um, for something to vibrate in a prototype I was making for a class, and I was so on it that I was, like, going to get so involved in making something that actually worked, because I just had to create a simple, like, button switch, um, electrical circuit, which I learned how to do in high school. Did I remember anything I learned? Absolutely not. Did I still buy the supplies to do it? Absolutely. Did I ever end up making it work and make a prototype that actually vibrated and worked whatsoever? Absolutely not. Ooh. 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 <gasps> this movie is so good. And I might be one of the only people who thinks that. <laughs> I bought this for my sister for her birthday. Yeah, it looks like birthday. Um, two years ago at this point. And it is my family's, one of their favorite movies. Um, Spencer likes to say that our family likes shit movies. <laughs> and we just got so obnoxious with it to the point that like I finally bought the movie so we could actually watch it in full, like, and enjoy it in full. And then we owned it and then it turned into a whole thing where like I went off to college and obviously I took the movie with me because the movie is bomb but then my family slash my sister couldn't watch it and they were like oh my god and, and whenever we meet people and we talk about it and obviously like no one has seen this movie and we're like but it's so good <laughs> you need to watch it and we make people we know watch the movie and it's a whole thing and so i got my sister a copy so that there could be one for her to have slash her to lend to people if people <laughs> need to watch it and it's so fun i don't know why we love that movie um this doesn't have a page anymore on amazon but i will at least show you the picture of it and I'm sure you can just google it a derma roller um these I kind of I go through phases <laughs> where I get really bothered and upset slash like whatever about my skin and I like feel the need to buy something new or do something new to like feel like I have it under control and this was two years ago my skin was having a bit of a flare-up um 
and I was just like, oh my god, I feel like nothing I have is doing anything and I want something new. And so I was researching and people were like, oh, this derma roller, <laughs> get this derma roller. And it'll help kind of like penetrate that top layer of your skin and get the product really in there. And I bought it. It was like $15 and it, I appreciated it. I still have it. Um, I don't even know how to describe it, but like sometimes my skin's just feeling like thick and like I feel like I'm trying to use products and they're just not really getting there. I will use it still every now and then. Um, I don't know if it's life changing. It makes me feel a little bit better if anything and I think it does kind of help disturb some of the dead skin on top and kind of get things rejuvenated a little bit. But do I think it's life changing and do I think you need it? Probably not. Alright, so basically all of 2018 was focused on school besides the like two things I told you about. So I'm just gonna move on to 2017. This is definitely what we're gonna get where like, I don't know what I bought. <laughs> this one is so fun. Oh my God, okay. It is a dog. They called it a large dog plaid shirt, coat, hoodie, pet, winter, coat, clothes, warm, soft. <laughs> this is such a fun product. I bought this um, for my one dog. And then I went and bought another one for my other dog. I have two lab slash lab mixes of dogs at home. I guess they're at my parents' house. <clears throat> and so I always wanted to put animals in sweaters and having a large dog that's like never, ever, ever possible. I did notice this past Christmas, Walmart actually was carrying like large sweaters and I probably could have shoved one of them in it. Ooh, I purchased my own bleach to bleach my hair and the only way to purchase it was in a giant container and I still have said container it's not up here it's at my parents house but I still have it and I've still used it to bleach my hair I used it last fall to bleach like my roots I would say on this topic I will link to you what I used because technically speaking it worked but always use caution um, if you can contact someone maybe do it and do a lot of research so yeah, I'm a person who, quite frankly, doesn't really care if something happens. <laughs> like, I'm aware that I'm taking the risk by doing it myself that something absolutely horrible can happen. Um, so I just want to put that out there. And so it ended up being a lightener, like a powder lightener with a, with a cream developer. Which, like, made sense in my head. Like, I have seen people do it and whatnot. Was it the smartest decision? Probably not, and did it technically work? Yes, have I done it more than once? Absolutely. Does my family hate me every time I do it? Absolutely. All right, so this I bought with the hair dye, and I only have a picture to share you, but I bought a, this is the brand Toy Z, like Toy Z-E, um, my first car keys, car alarm with headlights and real car sounds. It is a child's toy for like, you know, clicking and playing with and jingling and making noises and sounds and like, stimulation. I bought it for a 15 year old um, as a joke that she isn't able to drive yet. All right, um, let's see what else I got. All right, I'm seeing two more things I think from 2017. I had a bit of a crazy makeup phase in 2017 where I was buying things like crazy. So I'm not going to leave links to all these because they're easily searchable and kind of everywhere if they, people even still care about them anymore. But I went and purchased a pair of those silicone makeup sponges, which were so stupid. And then also I bought almost every layout of the New York mini City Mini Palettes from Maybelline, which was so stupid and such a waste because I'm pretty sure I used them for a video, if even. And then I was just like, okay, I'm done. And I've never hated myself more than that moment. So there you have it. That was such a waste. And then let's end 2017 on a positive note where the first thing I bought in 2017 was um, Hamilton The Revolution. It's a, I don't want to say picture book, but basically a large picture book all about the musical Hamilton. And my mom and I were both people who like, we both really enjoy musicals and we both really wanted to go see it, but we were like, there's no way in hell we're ever gonna be able to afford to go to it. And so I kind of just got her this like book that was basically all about the creating of the musical. It had photos like from the shows and it was just this really cool like in-depth story behind creating the whole thing. It's really cool because I got that for her. We were like looking through it and we're like, wow, this is so cool. I wish we could go see it. And then this past year, it was, I featured in a My Little Blips video. We got her tickets to go see it for her birthday 
um, kind of like as a surprise, and we got to go see, obviously it was not the original cast or anything, but we got to go see a like touring show of it in Philadelphia for way less than <laughs> the original obviously, but it was just such a cool experience and it was really cool. I like forgot that I got that for her, so like going through these, it was really cool to kind of see kind of full circle, like we were like so excited, we were like reading about it and doing research and like watching the news about it constantly and, and then we finally got to go see it and it was incredible. Mm. Yes. I got... <laughs> Alright. Go ahead. Everyone tell me how stupid I am. Here we go. I'm ready for it. Um, in 2016, I wanted to buy Spencer a poster of the game Uncharted 4 A Thief's End because it was a game he had just finished up or was playing or I don't know. Um, I buy it. I don't even open it. I just basically opened the canister and made sure there's a poster in there. Saw it was like the image and was like, okay, we're good. Waited months, gave it to Spencer. He opens it and immediately starts laughing because it has the giant ass watermark right in the middle of the poster. And it was just like, at that point I'd waited months to give it to him. And I was like, I doubt I can even reach out anymore. And so we were just like, oh my God. So it stayed curled up in a thing for like ever. I finally, in the past year, I think, bought, like, one that didn't have the watermark on it, but it was just such a stupid moment where I was like, okay, this product I bought back in 2015, and this product is still being talked about quite a lot, and I would still stand by this. I just don't find that I really need it anymore. Um, the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask, um, you buy a jar of it for, they say, a pound of it is in the jar, and I think it's generally, like, $8, $8, $9. That mask is legit. <laughs> it is kind of intense. It's a super, super drying clay mask. In case you haven't heard of it, I feel like everyone's heard of it, but if you have any kind of oily skin, and especially it's 2015, I had like super, like my skin was... The drying effect this thing has is absolutely insane. Like it will hurt to move your face if you let it completely dry. It's very, very drying and you just don't want to overdo it. You don't want to like be hurting your skin. See, now we're getting into the good stuff. Now we're getting into the stupid shit I bought in um, high school. Okay, these I bought like right around college. So I went to college and immediately busted my phone immediately busted my phone i had the samsung galaxy s3 and immediately broke it so i had to purchase a new one within the first like month of being at school because i dropped it in a mall and it completely shattered and shut off and wouldn't turn on again i got a refurbished galaxy s3 um for like a hundred dollars and it was a very emotional moment i didn't have a phone for like three or four days and of course it was in the first month of me being out at school and i like didn't want to tell my parents because i was so scared that they would be like oh my god, how dare you not have a, like, how dare you break your phone? I was afraid to get yelled at. So I didn't tell them, which meant I couldn't communicate for three to four days, which meant apparently in that time frame, they tried reaching out to me and they kind of went into a panic and ended up having to like call my roommate and be like, is she alive? Also, right before school, or it looks like right beginning of school, um, I purchased two pretty stupid things that I no longer own. Um, I purchased some designer-inspired Lita-style chunky heels and that might have been that same year I found a pair of Lita's at a thrift store. So I don't know if that was before and then I was like went on a Lita kick and I was trying to buy everything that looked like that. So I bought these or if that was when I was looking for that stylish shoe and I bought these to suffice but then found a pair. I don't know. And I bought some cheap ass full color makeup eyeshadow palette. I can just remember how shit it was and I think I bought it just because there were... 168 colors in it for $13. Yeah, that's, um, I know it's exciting to think you're getting a bargain, but it's probably shit makeup. <laughs> Alright, so next on the list, in 2015, um, this purchase, I, like, kind of still have. I'll explain. I bought the Not For Tourist Guide to New York City, the 2015 edition, because I bought it in 2015. Um, I love New York City <laughs> and I used to travel there quite a lot I don't know the not for tourist guide is a kind of popular guide for different cities um, I'm assuming they still update them I'm seeing one here for 2017 so I'm assuming like they keep updating at least maybe year 
two years, something like that. Can you find this stuff online? Absolutely, but is it a nice, it's a nice little condensed book that's super easy to throw in a bag if you have a couple days in New York or you wanna buy it to pre-plan a trip and then not bring the book with you, but it's super easy, super laid out well. At least the New York one was laid out by neighborhoods if I'm remembering correctly. Speaking of putting dogs into super cute things, I bought this literally right after we got um, our second dog. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, this makes me laugh because they display the sweater on a stuffed dog and I think that's hysterical. Um, I got them a panda suit. It only fit her for about like the first couple weeks. Like she was like a puppy, you know, so it only really fit her then. So it's definitely made for small dogs. I did put it on a cat. It fits them too. Do they enjoy it? Maybe not, but it was cute as hell. This item I have literally contemplated repurchasing because that's how much I remember loving it. And it is a women's swimwear slash underwear monokini. Um, it's a one piece. It is a skeleton print. <clears throat> I used to wear this all the time, but I would wear it as a bodysuit constantly, especially this with like a pair of like ripped shorts perfect summer outfit. I bought a women's celeb <laughs> lace chiffon party evening dress. It's like a short beach summer dress sort of thing. I can vividly remember one realizing that I never wear anything white and so I put it on and was like this is weird. This feels wrong. Also I think kind of the issue was it kind of reminded me of a nightgown and it was it's not even currently available but it was just like it felt like a waste as soon as I purchased it and I was very upset about it so and then my last thing I will point out for 2015, um, I purchased this for my freshman dorm room, oh boy, because I was all in to the kind of more, I was still trying to be kind of an all emo person, um, fresh out of high school, and I wanted to like bring in the fun like design though, because you know, going to school for design and whatnot. I immediately destroyed it because I was an idiot and put taped things on top of it, and then I thought I'd be able to salvage the poster, and the tape ripped the poster apart, so. What are random things I bought in 2014? Two fun ones that I bought are Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. I never feel like I'm saying that right. The CD. I purchased it secondhand by Goodwill. I literally bought it for, ooh, it says a penny. <laughs> so I probably paid a penny for it and then paid like $3 shipping or something because I wanted to have the soundtrack because Spirit is one of my favorite movies of all time. I still own it and I still listen still listen to the CD um, slash watch the movie, which additionally I bought the movie secondhand from a Goodwill for $3.43 because I had watched my version of the DVD so much that this D, like the DVD broke and like entire parts of the movie would be skipped because they had like gotten busted. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this was a sad time. There was a time when I tried, um, this was before I was allowed to dye my hair fun colors. So, so yeah, this was before I was allowed to do that because I think my mom was hoping it was just a phase and I wouldn't actually do it to my hair and then I never grew out of that phase. But before I was allowed to do it, I would try getting just clip-in extensions and hoping that that would suffice. It looked so stupid on me, especially because I had like dark brown hair and then I was trying to clip in this ombre purple clip-ins as if that would look like my hair. And it's just, obviously it was very cheap. I can't even, I think I can tell you what I paid for it. I paid six dollars for that. It looked so bad and I tried holding on to them for years to try and make it work and it never did and finally I just got rid of it but I remember like getting so excited and I put it on and I think I like wanted to cry because it was like everything I was hoping I could achieve and be allowed to do in high school and I put it on and it looked so stupid because it looked so fake, it looked so cheap and finally I think this is 2014 so two years later I would end up just getting my hair professionally dyed pretty much that color, like a nice deep purple. All right, and then 2013, the very, very first orders I made on Amazon, I will tell you all three of them, I placed them on the same day. The only things I did in 2013 were place these three orders and they were all for earring jewelry pieces. Um, the first one being a fake cartilage ring because I, I think I had tried to get my cartilage pierced and it didn't take or I wasn't allowed to do it or something. I'm trying to remember exactly what. I also don't know why this image is blue because I definitely did not buy a blue cartilage piercing. I also bought 
I would rebuy this. I bought a Dragon's Lore Gothic earring for your right ear, and it's where like it would wrap around and then, but it would still like attach to your like first hole, but then like after that it would like wrap around your ear more like a cuff. That was such a fun earring. I don't think it fit my ear super well, so I would like curl my ear to put it on because I'm very like open kind of flat ears and it definitely was built for like a smaller more like rolled up ear <laughs> so it didn't use go to my ear very well but I would like slam my ear into that thing and then something that I bought that I know I wore the hell out of like I'm pretty sure I broke it like that's the reason I didn't have it anymore was because it like broke from me using it so much I would wear this all the time and it was a these were also super popular at that time it was like a earring that connected here and it was a dream catcher and then it had like little chains that went up and then cuffed to like the middle of your ear those were super 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 popular um again this is not available i don't think it's been available for quite some time because those things aren't as popular anymore i wore the hell out of that holy crap but those are basically all the dumb things i bought over the years and then it's kind of funny because then like 2015 to now it basically turned into textbooks art supplies anything of that sort with very little like fun things if you want to put it that way, um, things that were like just for the heck of it. I, like I said, try to be very smart about my purchases. Um, I very much still go through phases of absolute stupidity and don't think through it, but I have come to find that by just setting things in my cart and letting them sit there and think about it and really like day in, day by day, like obviously you don't think about it constantly when you go back and you're like, I do not need this. And so it's kind of a good feeling to get rid of it and be like, I am really happy I didn't buy that. I've tried to get rid of impulse purchasing. Um, really plan out what it is I want to buy. Like I said, I literally apply that to gifting everything. I could talk about that in the future, but I know this video was a lot and this video is very chatty, but there's a lot of just kind of fun stories, random products I've purchased. Comment down below what is some or one or whatever random product you've purchased on Amazon or just in general, like what's a weird random product you've purchased um, and maybe found no use out of, which is so annoying, but also like funny story. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.